Hey kids, stepped out here on the porch to try to do another video and uh, Jane came out with me. So she's gonna be out here for today's video. <laughs> so uh, I just wanted to give you a quick one today and talk about uh, humility, talk about keeping a, a humble heart and remembering some things that, here I wanna tell you some things that if you remember, will help you stay humble. Um, so think about this, we're all deceived and the nature of being deceived is that you're thoroughly convinced you're not deceived. So I'll give you a test. I want you to think of something right now that you're wrong about and totally deceived about. Go ahead. Okay, you can stop the tape, but I, I bet you, you can't think of something because if you knew you were deceived about something, you would change your mind about it and not be deceived anymore. So we're either completely right and know everything perfectly, or we're deceived somewhere. And so humility starts out with saying, oh, well, I know that I'm wrong somewhere. I know that, I, that I'm believing things wrong or I understand things imperfectly. So the, the, like I said, the nature of deception is that you think you're not deceived. So a wise man will at least recognize and say, I am wrong in places that I don't even know and I need help to figure it out. And so the, the big questions in life, God, um, eternity, like what happens after you die? Those are questions that many people are deceived about. They have beliefs, they have answers, uh, but they're not necessarily tested. They're not necessarily um, well thought through or thought or even, um, I don't know, coherent, but meaning like they, the thoughts don't seem to fit if you question them or test it or test them. So I want to put this out there for you. God is not afraid to be questioned. God is not afraid to be, um, God wants you to talk to him. He wants you to, to reason with him. He wants you to work these things out and to try to come to a, a, an understanding where all the pieces of the puzzle fit together. So hold that in mind. Use your brothers and your sisters and the Bible and your prayers to like work these things out. Recognize that you still have so much to learn and so much to grow. I feel the same way. I mean, in the 41 years that I've been here, I still feel like I'm constantly learning new things, constantly changing my mind about things, constantly um, realizing areas that I've been deceived. And if, if we weren't deceived, then there would be no hope of growth, right? Because growth is finding out where you're wrong. So some people are, are, are insecure and they're afraid to be wrong, so they just try to put out all the things that they know are right and won't change their mind. Don't do that. Listen ask questions. In the asking of questions, you can begin to, to hear things that would change your mind that can help you grow. So there's a, there's a verse in the Bible that says, uh, there's a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof is death. Okay, so that's just a proverb. It's trying to help us be wise and to say, hey, you can try to figure it out for yourself and the end of it's going to be death. The best thing to do is to question God wrestle with God. The, uh, Jacob wrestled with God and he said, I'm not letting go until you bless me. Um, so I'm just putting that out there so you never get to the place where you think uh, you've arrived or that I in these videos have told you everything you need to know. Uh, if anything, in these videos, I hope to awaken in you a hunger and a wonder to know your God and to learn more every day. Uh, that there is no end to it. I mean, for all eternity, we're going to be learning about God. We're going to be enjoying the, the, the experience of him. Um, stay humble. Stay filled with wonder. Ask lots of questions. Um, listen to people. Don't have to agree with everyone, but listen and at least give them a chance to, to, to tell you what they think and to share the best things that they know with you. Uh, and likewise, share the best things that you know with others. And in the process, as you compare the best things you've seen and the best things you know, the true things and the better things will always rise to the top. So uh, I love you guys. I uh, just wanted to give you a little nugget today. Uh, hopefully keep you wondering, keep you hungry, keep you humble, keep you watching more videos to, to see what next thing that your dad's going to put out here. Um, in the meantime, I love you. And I'm going to go inside and watch whatever movie you guys are watching. Love you. Oh, one last little thought I had right before I was uh, going in was don't be afraid to be wrong. That's, that is so freeing. Don't be afraid to be wrong. You could be wrong about something for 10 years, 20 years. Even if told 100 people what you believed, 
don't be afraid to be wrong and change your mind. It's okay, it's part of the growing process that you would believe something and then change your mind and believe something else. As long as you are faithful to love people and tell them the best thing you know without, with humility to recognize that you might still be wrong, you'll work out okay. So you gotta get used to being wrong, get over it, don't be afraid, and that'll, that'll set you free to keep learning. Because sometimes people are just so afraid of the answer. Oop. Sometimes people are so afraid of the answers that they're going to hear. Or if they don't, they, they just shut down and stop asking questions. And I definitely don't want you guys to be afraid. Be bold. Be courageous. Don't worry about being... Ha! This video recording stuff is tough on the fly. The phone rang and Grandma and Grandpa just called. And that turned the video recording off. So I got to remember to put it on uh, airplane mode. Uh, so hopefully this is more entertaining than in the studio because uh, all kinds of unpredictable things happen in recording. Uh, I love you guys and that's the end of the video.